It's time to export the knowledge. So what you're seeing before you is a side-by-side -side comparison of me doing the exact same question, but two different ways. So on the left in blue is the standard long division, which took me about 48.52 seconds. And on the right, we have synthetic division, which took me, wait for it, 23.57 seconds. I did it in less than half the time. Think about that, doing a 60 minute test in less than 30 minutes. So what are the advantages of using this method? So it takes less than half the time and it uses addition rather than subtraction. So it's less error prone and it doesn't take up as much space. So let me show you the magic of synthetic division. First we draw the long division sign upside down like that and then we write down our polynomial. Now we can go x to the 3 plus 7x blah 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 or we get rid of the plus and minuses we get rid of all the x's and we just leave the coefficients. So for this first term here it's going to be 1 this term here it's a 7 next term it's another 7 and then our constant term minus 6 you have to make sure that this is in order. We can't have minus 6 at the front here. Can't do that. That's, that's going to make our life a whole lot harder. So it's always highest to lowest power. Then we use the null factor law on the divisor. So this thing, x plus 2. So by null factor law, x plus 2 equals 0. x has to equal negative 2. So we're going to use that result. And we're going to put it over here. Then we drop the first coefficient down below the line. So this one, we're going to put it down here. All right, and then we're going to actually start the process. So we're going to times minus 2 and 1 together. Right? So when we do that, we get minus 2. And then we're going to add. Right? We're not subtracting. We're going to add. Right? So 7 plus minus 2, 5. Then going to rinse and repeat. So now minus 2 times 5. Minus 10. Add them. Minus 3. Times them. 6. Add 0. And that's it. That's the whole process. Now, we, got a, we divided a cubic by a linear factor. So our result has to be a quadratic. But we have four terms here that it looks like. So what's going on? Well, this last term here is actually the remainder. So you can put an R here, want to, or you can just leave it. Then the question is, what do each of these actually mean? What do they stand for? And how do I actually use this result? So since this is the remainder, then this has to be the rest of the terms. So this is x squared, and this is 5 lots of x, 5x. And then this must be the constant term, minus 3. So that's the quadratic that we're left with. And if we times that quadratic by x plus 2, we will get this cubic up here. It, it's as simple as that. I want to do uh, one more example. So we have 2x cubed minus x squared minus x minus 3. And we're going to divide that by 2x minus 3. Now, Let's use synthetic division. So we'll draw it upside down, get the coefficients 2, minus 1, minus 1, minus 3. Now I'll factor law this. So 2x minus 3 equals 0. 2x has to equal 3. x equals 3 over 2. Use that result. 3 over 2, write it there. Drop the first coefficient down, 2. And then we're going to actually do the process. So 2 times this. 3, add 2. 2 times that, 3, add 2. 2 times that, 3, add 0. Right? Now that we've got this result, uh, let's say I wanted to get this polynomial here and express it as this times uh, some quadratic. Right? We can do that, sure. Now, logic would suggest that we should be doing this times 2x squared plus 2x plus 2. Right? That seems logical. When I first thought about this, I thought that was correct, but no. No, it's not. 
and we can see that by expanding the first term. 2x times 2x squared does not give me 2x cubed, right? So clearly we've done something wrong. What we've actually done is we've shown that x minus 3 over 2 times this is equal to that. And now when we expand this, we will get that. But that that's ugly. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this, right? We did divided by this, how do I get that? Easy. You see how, how many twos we have on this side? You see how we have a fraction here that's divided by two? Well, we can take these twos, factor it, factor this side, so we get two times a quadratic. So we get x squared plus x plus one, right? Factor that the two, and then we can take the two and we can move it to this other side. So now we just have to times everything in here by two. So we get 2x minus 3, and that's exactly what we were after in the first place. And that is equal to that. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or contact me on social media, and I will see you in the next video.